Right here in this box is the Erlex Spray Station 5500. Now Erlex makes a few different HVLP spray systems and the 5500 is somewhere in the middle of the lineup. So it's a great price point for getting started in spraying and yet it's still very versatile to be able to spray a lot of different types of finishes. So you can get going in spraying without breaking the bank. Now included in the box is absolutely everything you need to get started in spraying. So let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. Now packed nicely inside the box is the turbine uh, unit itself, which is here in the motor, uh, which has onboard storage for both the air hose and the power cord here down at the bottom. Uh, the gun itself, of course, uh, which has the core container and the gun. Uh, also a brush for cleaning out the gun, a spanner for changing the uh, needle and tips, a uh, viscosity cup for measuring the viscosity of the material that you want to spray, and of course the manual. Now this gun comes loaded with a two millimeter tip and nozzle, and that is a great uh, nozzle, great size for all around uh, water-based finishes. Additionally, you can purchase optional needles and tips. Uh, you can go up to a two and a half millimeter or down to a one and a half millimeter or even a one millimeter. And here's uh, an optional needle and tip, what it looks like. And you can replace uh, the one that comes with the gun with some of those other sizes. Now in general, uh, for more viscous or thicker materials, you want to use larger needle sizes. And for thinner or less viscous materials, you want to use smaller needle sizes. And also always check what the manufacturer recommends uh, for the needle size for spraying their product. Now to get started spraying, all we have to do is unwrap the air hose, uh, which comes out of the storage. And one end goes into the gun and the other end uh, goes right here in the front, uh, right into a hole there. Unwrap the uh, power cord, uh, which is again stored on the unit and plug that in fill up uh, some material into the gun and we're ready to go. It's really that simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up uh, some water uh, into this gun and do some test spraying and show you the spray patterns uh, that we can create with this gun. To load the gun with finish, simply take the gun off of the core container and pour in your finish. Now typically you wanna strain uh, the finish through a fine mesh strainer, make sure there are no particles uh, in the finish that will clog your gun. And then go ahead and pop the gun back on top and right here, uh, the cork container clips on with this little pin right here. So you rotate it to clip it on and then just rotate the knob here on the front to lock down the gun to the container. So I've gone ahead and loaded up the gun with some dye, which is just water with a little bit of dye so you can uh, more clearly see it. And uh, I'm gonna show you uh, controls and the spray patterns you can get using these controls. So I'm gonna flip on the turbine um, and then go ahead and get switched to a close-up view of the gun and the controls so you can see the different spray patterns that we can create. The controls for the spray gun are very straightforward. Here on the front you can control the spray pattern with the nozzle. Uh, you can rotate the nozzle, it's got positive stops, push it in and rotate it and it'll stop at different positions. Here in the vertical position, uh, we will get a horizontal spray pattern. If I rotate it here to the horizontal position, now we get a vertical spray pattern. And finally, at a 45 degree, we will get a circular spray pattern. Now to control the amount of fluid coming out of the gun uh, is done here at the back with this knob. If I turn it in, we will get less fluid coming out of the front. And if I loosen it, we will get more fluid coming out of the front of the gun. And that's it for controls on the Erlex 5500. It's all very straightforward, but has a variety of spray patterns and controls to give you the spraying exactly what you need. Let me go ahead and show you uh, changing out the needle and tip uh, for a new set here uh, to show you how fast and easy it is to make that change. Here at the back of the gun, we'll take the needle out first, unscrewing the fluid control knob all the way to remove that needle. Be careful, there's a spring in the back here, so take that out and then take the spring out right here off the needle and pull that needle out. Now keep track of these because uh, they are match set. Uh, then go ahead around to the front of the gun and unscrew spray cap here and nozzle at the front. Take that off. And this is where you use the spanner uh, to unlock the needle, the tip here at the front. So go ahead and unlock that and then you can use uh, your fingers to just remove it the rest of the way. 
So we'll put those aside and we'll put on the new one. Uh, here's the uh, tip here at the front. Just get that threaded on. Thread that all the way on. And then go ahead and use the spanner to snug it up. Which is really just a very, very small turn. And uh, we'll put the nozzle and cap back on the front. Okay, make sure that's all the way on. And then again here at the back, put in the needle all the way through. Don't forget the spring and then the control knob here. And press the spring in to get it started. And there it goes and then uh, you can tighten it up and there you go. Now you're ready to go with the new uh, needle and tip size there. So that is the Ehrlich Spray Station 5500. Uh, it's a great sprayer, very affordable and yet very versatile uh, to lay down quite a few different types of finishes. Now I've been using it uh, for dyes, uh, for top coats and even for latex paint. Uh, and I can tell you that it does a great job with all of those. I do recommend looking at the optional tip and needle sizes because uh, they will give you the most versatility uh, for laying down finish just the way that you want it. So if you're looking to get into spraying, uh, the Ehrlich 5500 is a great affordable system and yet still versatile to be able to do a lot of types of finishing. Mm -hmm.